Alright, so the theme for this deck is Call of the Haunted and cards similar to Call of the Haunted uh, and effects which benefit from Call of the Haunted or monsters, you know, oh, other cards similar to Call of the Haunted. So I have uh, Call of the Haunted, obviously, special summon one monster from your graveyard in attack position. Uh, powerful Rebirth, only works in level 4 lower monsters and they become level uh, 1 level higher. Oasis, defense position, a new card, return to the front lines is basically Oasis except it doesn't stay on the field uh, and it doesn't change their type to worm so it's a lot better. So you can actually like chain it to a twin twister or something. This will probably see a, a lot more play or a complete just replacement of Call of the Haunted in the future. Maybe. Uh, and then the cards I chose to actually take advantage of them were artifacts, since if you use them during your opponent's turn from the graveyard, you can activate their effects. So I'll pop one of their cards or lock them out of the extra deck. Uh, I also have Thunderclap Skywolf, because he has a Regeki effect if you special summon him from the graveyard. Uh, but you can't attack that turn, so the best way to use it is during your opponent's turn with cards like Call of the Haunted, but I never actually got to pull that off. I pulled off the artifacts a lot, though. Uh, and then, of course, Sacred Crane and, like, Star Drawer to go into rank 4s. And Mist Valley Falcon to reuse the cards. You can also use Mist Valley Falcon on Powerful Rebirth to just straight up return it to your hand, even if it's equipped to something, and it won't destroy the monster. That's the only one it doesn't... it works like that on, because it doesn't have the effect where if the card's removed from the field, destroy the card. Only if the card is destroyed, destroy it, so... Uh, this one is probably one of the most useful ones with Miss Valley Falcon, even if it does kind of mess with the deck and change in its level. Uh, but I run level 4 and 5 monsters anyway, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Also, the new Imperial Order, man, is it really good. <laughs> I don't think it'll stay out. Even with the Errata, uh, it was still ridiculously good. It completely just won me like two of the games I was in single-handedly uh, by just locking my opponent out of spell cards, because I only run two. And I don't even really need to do that. I could run something else besides Twin Twister. Thank you. 